In our facility at Steelcase, we do architectural walls and office furniture, primarily steel products. We process about 14 tons of steel a day, about a million square feet under roof. So we go from a blank sheet of steel to a formed, welded, painted product in, in about three days. So we're being driven to find more ways to implement automation and advanced technologies to take us to the next level. Our demographics here at Steelcase, we have an older, uh, mature workforce. So what we've done is really put robotics and new technology right in their hands and uh, let them be able to see it, touch it, feel it, and then they have a better understanding of, of how we're trying to utilize a Baxter or a Sawyer within the, the workforce. The biggest difference between a Sawyer and an industrial robot uh, would be in the programming. It was impressive as how easy it was to program the machine for pickup points and placement points and it hit the mark the way it was supposed to. We will be implementing Sawyer in areas where it has a highly repetitive task or, or mundane task to help free up our operators to do more important functions in their work cells. So Sawyer, he's going to be picking up a plate and loading it into a fixture, and then he has to go back and grab a tube and load it into a fixture. And there's uh, two fixtures that eventually he'll load. It's a high volume part for us, and what we want to do is be able to utilize this piece of equipment on an off shift and we can just utilize more operators to do different things depending on the schedule that we're trying to run. We don't want employees to feel that the robot is there to take their job away. It's there to assist them with their job. We're looking, you know, employee engagement, employee enhancement, and being an employee multiplier.